Next up is Cleveland with number five. The Cavs have Kevin Love, their franchise player. You have Andre Drummond, who they traded for uh, with the Pistons. And they have uh, Tristan Thompson's a free agent. And they have Larry Nance. So you have a lot of talented players, but it wasn't didn't really come together for them last season. What do they need to be successful from my end? I think you got to go for a guy like Obi Toppin, one of my favorite players in the draft, or Devin Vassell, who is a great uh, guard, really big um, defensive player, and can knock down some shots for you. What do you think? I think they need talent, honestly, flat out. I mean, with all due respect to Kevin Love, end of his career, right? Like you're looking more about trading him to a contender if you can and getting off that contract and, and rebuilding around Colin Sexton and what's there. You've got to talk about the guys that, the, the you know, the guys we're talking about are veterans. Larry Nance can stay around for a while, but some of the, you know, this is a team that needs to rebuild around youth. Obi Toppin is absolutely one of the names you hear. That's a guy who's going to put up offensive numbers and if you can just get him to play some defense, he's going to be a fantastic four or five stretch kind of guy who fits the modern game. Uh, the other name you hear mentioned around them because they just need more playmaking is uh, Denny. And I'm going to butcher the name because I'm just not very good at, at, the, at this. But it's a Denny Argita, I believe it is, out of Israel. The the, the highest you know, played for Maccabi Tel Aviv last year is a high ranking player coming out of Europe. A lot of teams up high are looking at him. Because he's a bit of a playmaker on the wing. He's not super athletic, but he can move the ball. He, If his shot comes around and it got good form, he's a guy who can kind of fit next to your guard as a secondary playmaker out there. So he's never going to – I don't think he's going to be some elite player, but he could be a really quality secondary playmaker role player like the Kings used Bogdanovich like last year, like that kind of spot. That would be a really good fit for them. They've got to find just more young talent to start rebuilding and eventually try to move – Kevin Love and everybody else on that roster that's just, they're not, I mean, what are you, you going to fight for the eight seed? What, what, are you, what are you really doing? Yeah, the, the, dawn, the sun is setting, you know, in Cleveland as far as the old guard of Tristan Thompson and Kevin Love. There's still a couple years there as they transition, but Colin Sexton, I mean, he played extremely well. You're right. And I think Denny is interesting because I was in Israel, I think a couple years ago, and um, I was so surprised and impressed by the basketball IQ of a lot of young talent out there. I went to some camps and see, um, and I saw a lot of players, you know, um, young players coming out from Europe, but the Israeli players, they love basketball there and they're very smart. So when I look at a guy like Denny, I know some scouts are high on him, some scouts are low on him, they don't really know, but I think that's he's going to be a, a nice sleeper pick as well in this draft for someone who can give you a lot of uh, productive minutes going forward. Yeah, look, the concern with him is that he's not some sort of NBA-style explosive athlete. He's got good size, he's got great vision, but he's not this explosive athlete. Um, he's not Luka Doncic. I don't want to pretend that he is, but Luka helps pave the way for some of those secondary playmakers who aren't necessarily explosive athletes because he's worked out pretty well <laughs> in that kind of role. He's done, he's done all right for himself, so I think that there is a there, there's a certain amount of like, hey, we use this guy in a smaller role and he can really help us.